Hey, what's going on everybody? DJ Mad MAD once again, another tutorial Cubase 7.5 and today we are going to be talking about side chaining, the many different ways of side chaining in Cubase 7.5 and I believe uh, uh, the previous versions you could do just about the same in, uh, until like a, I think version 4 or so, something like that. Alright, uh, before we get into the movie, I would like to take this time to please ask you from the bottom of my heart to hit the like button and to make sure you subscribe to the channel. Listen, if you hit the like button, it's only going to take you a second. You should have done it by now already. It's the, it's the thumbs up right in the bottom left corner. And it would definitely encourage me to keep on doing these types of videos. So thank you so much. I know you already did it. And let's dive right into the video. Side chaining. Okay, so I got this really cool track that I produce. It's called uh, Tuesday Tech Baby Check. I, I, I don't know why I come up with these names. The point is, that's the, that's the way it came out. So it sounds a little bit like this. Check it out. So let's zoom in, right here, I got it on loop already, All right, many elements in this track, um, so what I want to do is I would like to sidechain the bass thumbs type of thing which happens to be this right here. All right, so the first way that we are going to sidechain this thing, uh, I'm not saying that you know you guys don't know how to sidechain or whatever. This video is for for those who are looking for alternate uh, alternative way of sidechaining, or maybe you just simply don't know the way that I'm about to explain. But I'm going to start with the most simplest way of sidechaining, uh, which happened to be using the the um, stock compressor and so on and so on. All right, so the first thing that you got to do, okay, we're gonna we're gonna. We're gonna side chain this thing right here. The thumbs. That's the thumb. That's the thumbs right here. All right. So we're gonna side chain that. The first thing that we gotta do is open the editor right here. I got two screens. That's why it came out on the on the other side. And the first thing you wanna do is go into the channel strip, open a compressor, a compressor, standard compressor would do. And there's a little button right here that's called SC, which happens to be sidechain. It says right there, activate sidechain. So I'm going to activate that. So the next thing I want to do is I want to I want to select the source of who which which is going to activate the sidechain. Uh, usually people use the main kick. Uh, I really don't recommend that because you know you kind of want to have something that that has a uh, a very fast uh, fast attack with a very uh, fast um, I mean, a, a, a very slow release. No, no, I mean, a very fast release. Like, something that will be like, click, instead of boom. Because you want to be in control of how fast you want it to, uh, to release and so on and so on. So, what I'm going to do is, I am going to open uh, an instance of Groove Agent. Um, Groove Agent SC, which I... I I really love it. I'm sorry about the cutouts. Uh, I'm, I'm monitoring my mic through the software. You know what happens when you use Cubase and or or any other DAW when you load a plugin. It kind of cuts off a little bit, so the plugin can load up and all that stuff. All right. So what we're gonna do right here is we are going to load um, anything, any samples or whatever. Oh, we look. We're looking for something with an attack. It could be a snare. It could be a tom, a kick. So in this case, we're gonna use a snare. Doesn't matter what you what you use as long as it has a fast attack. So let's look for a fast attack. We're gonna use this right here. All right. Uh, yes. Uh, this these are the 909 snare samples. Uh, be sure I got to my boy K. Def. He uh, thanks to him. He uh, he hooked me up with this stuff. So what we're gonna do right here? We're gonna make this very short. We're gonna make it a a hit. So. See, that's all I need. That's all you need to sidechain. So we're going to find it on the keyboard. There you go. Find it right there. So I'm going to write... Uh, uh, I'm going to write this in like if it was a kick. So I'm going to record this real quick. Okay, I don't need it to be that long. Uh, I messed up right there. So I'm going to quantize... Q on Cubase, and uh, by the way, this is a tutorial for Cubase users. 
um, because in Logic and Ableton and all those other people, they, they you know, side chaining is definitely much easier, faster, and better. Okay, so what we're doing right now, we are creating the 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 side side chain source, and we are going to duplicate this. Boom, boom. There it is. So now what you want to do here, go to the editor and make sure that this is not going anywhere. Right now it's going to stereo out. I want it to go nowhere. So I'm going to select no bus. I'm selecting no bus. So when I play this, it's not in the mix. Okay, I'm just using it as a source. All right, so how do you sidechain? Uh, just to backtrack a little bit, I want to sidechain the thumbs. And I already put a compressor and I hit the sidechain button. So it's ready to receive Okay, so when you go to the source, which I'm not going to name the sidechain. The minute I select this track right here, it opens the editor, which you guys already know, I'm pretty sure. Um, on the sends, you're going to select, see where it says sidechain right here? Automatically the thumbs appear, so you're going to select that and you're going to, you're going to turn it on. So it, it gives you the option of, of how much send do you want to, how much uh, signal you want to send to that side chain. It's kind of like uh, using a bus, you know, with a delay or an effect or whatever, whatever. So me personally, I send it all so, uh, because I want to control it with the compressor. So now I go to the thumbs, what I, what I want to side chain. And when I play it, the signal is coming in. All right, but you hear you barely hear any difference because it's barely working. So what you gotta do is bring the threshold down, the release. You know, the, the depends how much how much how much time you want it to uh, to take until you know it comes right back. So we're gonna do a drastic side chaining. So you, obviously you hear the pumping effect. Um, we're gonna take this off, which is auto makeup. There you go, much better. So this is with, and this is without. With, you can you can do some more makeup if you want. So like you can tell the uh, the great thing about um, using a short a short sample to trigger the side chain is so that way you can have full control of how fast you want it to release or, or, or how fast you want it to cut off. So that's what I did right there. So that's the first way of side chaining. I hope that you guys uh, uh, were uh, s s stay with me with the whole situation. So now the second way that I, l my favorite way of side chaining. Oh, by the way, before I get there, um, th this is the stock compressor. If you don't want to use this compressor, you can actually use any other, any other compressor. So we're going to turn this one off. Uh, what happened when I turned that one off? If you go to the side chain signal, it completely disappeared because it's not there's no side chain um, activated, so you're not going to see anything right there. So right now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to select um, a compressor. So let's go with uh, any compressor. Uh, okay, do I know how to spell compressor? Jeez, let's go with a. Steinberg uh, stock compressor, which you know, just a, you could do this with just about any other compressor, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. Where the blues is this thing right here? Okay, compressor. Looking for Steinberg S. Are you serious? Uh, you know what? Which we are just go back there you go ah, we're gonna use a, a, a waves compressor might as well so we got a C1 compressor by waves and what we're gonna do is there's a little button right here oh no I'm sorry there's a little button that's the bypass this button right here is the side chain so activate side chain okay so we're gonna activate side chain on the Tom's track, which I want the side chain. So the minute I activate side chain, if you go to you to the to the source, and you go to the send, now you see the side chain right there. So, so of course you select it, you turn it on, you send all the signal. If you want to send it all or whatever, me personally I just leave it on zero. And when you play it, you see a signal. See how fast it's coming in. That's what I mean by the attack and release being really fast. So what you gotta do is just bring the threshold down. And then you got the ratio. 
and you already see it working. With, without. The release, or oh, the attack, I'll put it, make sure you put it, you know, close to zero or whatever you desire. The release, put it at three. And let's do a drastic side chain. Huh. Yeah, that's drastic enough right there. Let's bring down the threshold. With, without. Release. There you go. So you can definitely hear the, the, the pumping effect. So that you know uh, th that that side chain button is just about on all the all the compressors and all the stuff that you could find on Cubase, any third parties or whatever, and 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 their stock plugins. Uh, you could you could also do that with EQs and side chain EQs, but we could talk about that in, in a, another video. Um, now let's go to my favorite way of side chaining, which is really not side chaining. It's more of volume control, um, more like volume ducking or something like that. So. We're going to go right here. We're going to trash this compressor. And I, I already have it loaded, which happens to be a very cool plugin called Volume Shaper. And it looks like this. In this case, I do not need a sidechain uh, source to activate the sidechain. So I'm going to delete this right here. I don't need it. There it goes. Gone. So this is what you hear. This is with. Without it. And with it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna solo it and I'm gonna and I'm gonna play it for you so you guys can see how, how it works. And it's self-explanatory. You guys should have a it's a volume shaper. You can actually control all these parameters. You can you can add a whole bunch of uh Q points and whatever, whatever. You can make a you can make a one bar, eight bars, or, or as much as you desire. So I'm gonna solo it and you're gonna check it out. So there you have it. Um, it's a really, really cool plugin. I love, love this plugin. It's by Cable Guys. Make sure you go, you guys go ahead and buy it. It's an amazing plugin. It's, it's, it's worth every penny. So just go out there and buy it. Go to Cable Guys website and down, and, and download it and buy it. Um, this is my favorite way of, of getting that side chaining effect. Now understand, this is not going to give you that, that, that super pumping effect. But it's definitely it is perfect for getting things out the way. Like if you have a kick, there's the the frequency you know is taking the spectrum of uh, 160 and, and and under, and then you have a bass that's in the same frequency, and you want to duck it or you want to make it disappear while the kick hits. This is perfect for that. If you're not looking for the pumping effect, if you're looking for that pumping effect, then you might want to use a. Uh, um, a regular compressor and 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 do you know the the steps that I did earlier. But if you're just looking to to get things out the way uh, in an easier way other than automation, this to me is the best way. And understand there are many other third-party plugins that do this. Basically, this is just a this is like a LFO. So you know any plugins that could do LFO and stuff like that, they could definitely do the same, just about the same thing. And I I've seen a few other plugins and I actually had them, but this is my favorite one by far. Um, you have a whole bunch of different presets that you could save. Um, you, you got up to ten, so you know you basically just you know your favorite pumping effects or side chains or whatever you could just save them and have them as presets, save them as default, so you never have to just create it. All you got to do is just go through your presets and and so on and so on. All right, that's just about it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching another episode of Your Silly DJ Mad Mad in the studio with Cubase Seven Point Five. Now, listen, guys. I want to remind you, there's a really good friend of mine that just opened a brand new website. His name is Jay Hales. And his website is called BornToProduce.com. Now, if you're a Cubase user and you want to learn a little bit more about Cubase, make sure to go check out the website. The links is in the description below. So make sure you click on that. They have amazing videos. I'm telling you, if you want to learn how to use Cubase like a master, make sure you go to this website. The link is right 
under is right below the uh, the website is called born to produce.com they got great special deals and the great thing about this is that you know they got they got a package right now that costs 57 bucks but if you go and follow the link below and like you know if you go check out the website and you, you like what you see and you want to buy their package their full uh, uh, producer class um the the, the package is called uh, is the package costs 57 dollars but if you buy it through my link, which I happen to have the hookup, you get 25% off. So make sure you go and, and click on the link and make sure you support um, BornToProduce.com. Big shots going out to the guys over there. They're really, really cool. Cubase users, definitely go and check that out. Thank you, guys. Please, if you like this video, please hit the like button. It only takes you a second. It's not going to take a kidney off of you or anything like that. Um, it, it's going to help me out a ton. It's going to get my videos out there. Thank you so much for watching, DJ Madam AD. This track right here, remember, Tuesday Tech, Check Baby Check, will be out very soon on my own label, Digital Wax. There's some Beatport track shows, iTunes, and all the digital download engines. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great, awesome, amazing life. And I'll see you on the next video. Oh, and by the way, don't forget to check out the other videos of me DJing and scratching it up and, and doing all types of stupid things, all right? Thank you so much and take care. Bye.